Chitao. Now McMillan lays it off for Horgan. Horgan hits it. Oh, Daryl Horgan, what a goal! Struck it beautifully with the outside of his foot, and it bent away into the top corner. And at this very late stage, very little resistance from St. Pat's now. The game well and truly out of their reach. Here's Gannon. Oh, and Sean Gannon rounds it up with a super finish. He was preceded by a long sequence of passing, but that rounds off a fine game for Gannon. It's 4-1 for Dundalk. We're well into stoppage time at Oriel Park. Killed off with the through ball to Finn. Oh, he's got the equaliser! Ten-man Shamrock Rovers with the late, late strike and celebrations in front of the Rovers supporters. It's 2-2. Twenty-three minutes gone at Richmond Park, and it's still scoreless. But here's a man who knows where the goal is. Oh, does he know where the goal is? Yes, he certainly does. Sublime skill from Jason Byrne, and that has put Bowes one up. Comes down from Chris Forrester. Oh, what a goal! How did he even see that? And the execution. Quite brilliant, from 45 yards, Chris Forrester does it again. It's been kept in play, a little touch from Eamon Zaid. And Ronan Finn, a blistering shot from Ronan Finn. What a goal by the Shamrock Rovers midfielder. Robbie Benson. Long run up the hill at Brandywell. Chipping the goalkeeper. Jared Doherty caught off his line. And it's UCD1 Derry Nil. And what a goal by Robbie Benson, his first of the season. Once again, the ball breaks kindly for St. Pat's, but their quality really has told throughout. Here's Fagan. On to it comes Ian Birmingham. Lovely thread of ball through for Conan Byrne. It breaks for Christy Fagan, and that wraps it up. Christy Fagan's second of the night. And it was a wonderful build-up by St. Patrick's Athletic. Another three points in the bag.